So this is P minus Q, this is Q minus P. Don't they sound really similar? I mean, obviously you can't just strike through them because P minus Q is different than Q minus P, just like you know, two minus three is different than three minus two. But we know they're related because three minus two is one and two minus three is negative one. So they're the sort of the same, they, have, they both involve one, but one's negative, one's positive. So what we can do is play around with this a little more to, to figure out a way to make it cancel. On the top, let's leave P minus Q intact. On the bottom, I'm gonna get through it and then we'll talk about it. I wanna factor something out of this. I can always factor out a negative one from anything that I like. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna flip the order of these terms around when I do that. So if I multiply this stuff in, it's exactly the same as what I have. And so that's what you need to kind of remember because we'll use it a lot. When you factor out a negative one, it basically changes the sign of both things on the inside. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.